So first we're going to talk about what's often known as restriction in OMM. And so restriction, to understand restriction, I think you'd have to understand the meaning of T-A-R-T. T-A-R-T is basically how a somatic dysfunction may present. And so it's important to just understand for the complex what the meaning of T-A-R-T is. And so that basically just is TTA's asymmetry. So I hope you can read my writing. R is going to be restriction and T is tenderness. And so a lot of these are pretty, you know, common sense like asymmetry and tenderness. But in this video, what we're going to be talking about is restriction. And this is an important concept for the test and if you understand it it's probably an easy point on one of these questions uh, and so restriction can be divided into different kinds of barriers in order to understand restriction you have to understand barriers and so there's a couple different kinds of barriers one of them is a physiologic barrier and one of them is an anatomic barrier in a physiologic barrier, it's all about how much the patient is able to move. As opposed to the anatomic barrier, where it's all about the physician moving the patient. And so anatomic is going to be physician, and physiologic is going to be where the patient actually moves. So a lot of times when we're talking about anatomic and physiologic barriers, you see a chart. And it's kind of like a graph or a line graph or something similar may show up on the exam and it may show up as an easy point for you if you understand this. Let's say I'm drawing out in a graphic form the rotation of your head to the left and to the right. If I had asked you as the patient to move your head to the left, that means if you moved your head all the way to the left and you couldn't move it anymore, that would be considered your physiologic barrier on the left. And if I asked you to move your head all the way to the right and you couldn't move it anymore, that would be considered the physiologic barrier to the right. Now if you moved all the way to the right and then somebody like a doctor who is testing your neck or something continued to move your head to the right or continued to move your head to the left they would consider the movement to be at the borders of your anatomic barriers and that makes sense your bones can only take so much stress and that's why they call it the anatomic barrier, the physiologic barrier, the word tells you what it means. That means it's the actual motion that the person is doing. You can't go beyond the anatomic barrier. I mean, you could go beyond the anatomic barrier if you're trying to hurt somebody because you'd probably break a ligament or, you know, there would be an issue. That person would be in the hospital. So don't ever try to go beyond the anatomic barrier. You, you, you can't, you're not supposed to. Now, a lot of times, you'll see questions that discuss what's known as the neutral point. Sometimes you have a neutral point that may not be normal and they like to ask you questions about it. In this case, what we have drawn here, someone who's normal, who has normal physiologic movement, who has normal anatomic movement, and so their physiologic neutral is right in the middle. The neutral is like the part that has equal tension to the left and equal tension to the right. Now let's say we had a patient who had restricted rotation to the right and the question that you have to answer or that you have to think about is the new midline. So let's say that we draw this on this chart here or this graph that the patient is restricted going to the right. And so now the new distance between the two limits of the motion which now is the restrictive barrier on the right and the physiologic barrier on the left is going to be our new pathologic neutral and that's something that they could ask you about they could say um, you know which of the following is the new pathologic neutral and in this case it would move a little bit to the left that might not be perfectly in between these two lines but 
it would move a little bit to the left because now the distance or the middle between the limits is more to the left than it was originally. 